Hey guys and welcome to the first episode of my FIFA 17 Ultimate Team Road to Glory and we're going to start off here with just you know the simple stuff and this series is basically going to be squad building challenges, online seasons, probably some foot champions at some point, uh, trading, you know bronze pack method, all that stuff basically just trying to make this Ultimate Team great, try win Div 1, try win a I don't know, you can't really win foot champions, but try at least get, you know, gold and foot champions with a fairly, you know, basic team. Hopefully we can get some good players. I, I'm actually, I've actually recorded this quite a lot earlier, this first episode, but I've come back to it and I'm doing the voice now. So I can try get that squad building challenge David Villa, because I think that will be quite an easy one to get. And I'll put it in like a Spanish team and, you know, maybe get that Lacazette at some point. But, you know, to start off, you've got to start with the basics, but there's like six days left on that. David Villa, so I'm going to grind up, you know, making this and try to get that David Villa for this Road to Glory account because, you know, I think he'll be pretty useful. So I'm probably going to buy the players, uh, I think it's tomorrow afternoon here in New Zealand where the rewards for the weekend league are released. So I'll, you know, hopefully be able to pick up the gold players for cheap and we'll see about the rest. Um, Maybe they won't be as cheap, but I've done it on my main account. You know, it looks a pretty decent card. And yeah, so we're going into, you know, the starter packs here. Simple, you know, the starter packs. You can't really, you know, they're all right. Standard, really. And um, yeah, in this episode, we're going to have some offline games, a little bit of the manager task, and then one online game. And then next episode, there'll be some online. I think there'll be the rest of Div 10. And, you know, we'll see how we do in that. But, you know, it's Division 10, so it can't be that hard. The only reason I'm playing some offline games is so I can get a team together. So that Div 10 is e even easier, you know. I mean, I can do it with the starter team, but as I'm recording, you know, I'm a little bit... I don't, I don't want to lose. So, you know, maybe I'll, I'm going to have to go online. Anyway, we're going to quickly re redeem the boost and the, you know, the foot loan players. All that good stuff. And unfortunately, we're not quite a high enough level to get all of the 1,000s, but soon I will be, you know, hopefully. Um, hopefully it won't take too long to level up. You know, this is, I think, my third account on PlayStation, so it's not really, like, it's up there. So, yeah, whatever. Um, getting a few players, and, yeah, so we're going to move on into the first offline games. I think I show just the one goal because it was absolutely spectacular from the offline games, I can tell you that now. It, it was great, but yeah, moving on. I think I show you the squad here, we've still only got 100 coins. We've got to go into some games, and I think I choose, you know, this is a team that I'm going to go into the Division 10 offline games, you know, a simple team, basically all English, good chemistry, you know, standard. So yeah, we go into the games. And this is the uh, fixtures. I just have to win four to get the championship. A amateur, semi-pro, semi-pro, professional. Yeah, it's all right. Not too difficult, and should be pretty easy. And right here, we get the ball. We play it over, and then back heel, fucking cheese. Oh, what a goal! One nil. Or I actually didn't see the score. I didn't look. But overall, we won the four games. Pretty, pretty simple. Let's be honest. And yeah open the bronze pack, don't think we really get anything in it, but bronze pack method OP, and full effect right here, you know, I'm gonna do some bronze pack method, but I kinda just wanna get the, um, the squad building challenge David Veer first, because the bronze pack method for me, I don't make instant profit, I do eventually, over time, make profit, but I need the coins right now, so I'm gonna do the bronze pack method after I get the David Veer, and yeah, Basically, we also got one silver player from the MLS that was Jamaican, so and he was a right back. So he sold, he sells for 10k. I can tell you that now. However, at the time, I just stored him in the club because he sold for nothing. But yeah, and right here, you know, we go ahead, open the loans. We're gonna get Ben Arthur because you know, fuck it, why not? And the reason why we only have 458 coins, by the way, is because I built a full team. So yeah, you'll see that shortly. It's a full La Liga. Spanish team, you know, and yeah, that's, that's basically what I decided to build. No, it's, it's not bad, okay, like, you know, 400 coins for each player, I think they apart from Paso, who was probably like 800, 850, maybe 750, 
and we go into the first online game and basically I'm just going to build two Lily I'm just going to constantly just buy La Liga players you know it's not my preferred league as such but you know it, it'll do like it's good for starting off they've got some cheap 400 coin players I'm going to play with them for like all of what the seven games on their contract then discard them because you know they're shit but I'll keep the rare players and just add contracts to them and then yeah eventually build up the squad hopefully get that David Villa in there as well who will link to I don't know Sensio and Morata have that David Villa card and then have like Koke there and then you can have the rest normal league as long as that David Villa gets the links because he's in the MLS obviously but at least he's Spanish so he'll fit into that we go into this game and right here they just give the ball away needlessly make it 1-0 you know, it's Division 10, great start, you know, two minutes in, already 1-0 up. Easy, easy goal, and yeah, hopefully the rest of the fucking Div 10 will be as easy. And I can tell you what, there was at least one to two games that I actually struggled in in Division 10. I'm like a fucking gold one type, you know, fucking player for foot champions, and I'm struggling in Division 10. For some games like however this game was pretty easy i can tell you that now but in the next episode i i struggle i'm not gonna lie i, I struggle just a little bit in some of the games but you know no spoilers but yeah anyway we make it three nil here alexandra pato scores another i'm dabbing on him just trying to make him quick because it's like could you, could you just leave i, I don't really want to play this it's not exactly much of a challenge and you know it's basically what i just wanted to get out of division 10 just four quick rage quits i can tell you what we didn't even get one, so yeah, it's a little bit annoying. But 4 0, we make it with and one right there. What a name that is. Fucking, if only he was a basketball player. And yeah, that'll be even better. But 4 0, 23rd minute, and just like, look at that 1 2 there, and he's just so open. And this guy was actually, like, just not very good. Like, I mean, I know it's Division 10, but he still had a goal team. He had Moussa and Rashford up front, which terrifies me just at the side of, but, you know, pretty easy game in the end. We make it 5-4-0 uh, here, and we have the penalty to make it 5-0. He gets a red card, but I can tell you what, I struggle with penalties. Like, getting them on target, not knowing, like, they don't know where I'm going. I know the fucking glitch where your player runs to the side slightly. I make sure they can't know where I'm going. And still, like, 90% of my penalties get saved. I, I just have the worst luck. Like, everyone guesses the right way, and it's just... It's really fucking annoying, to be honest, because... I think eventually they're going to have to stop saving my penalties, right? Like, surely. You know, maybe one day. Anyway, Paso gets a hat-trick there. And, you know, basically, that's it for this episode. If you have enjoyed, please feel free to like and subscribe and all that. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.